Big Daddy, and welcome back to the Nasty Talks. We've missed you, but first things first, I have a question, a curiosity. This is the question I think you're going to ask, because everybody has that question. Why did you shave your head and eyebrows? Not the beard? Oh yeah, that's actually pretty normal. The beard is not something that concerns me that much. It's like, guys, if you could see Mirza right now, he's literally, he looks like he's 80 years old. It's been a rough New Year's, okay? Why? What could have happened? Nothing, I just, you know, fresh start, all of that stuff. And this is not the first time doing it. Okay. So you can interpret it as you wish. Maybe it's the same amount of people that have cancer. I don't have cancer, but I would like to donate to the cause. Did you donate it here, or what? <laughs> no, because this was very impulsive. Firstly, okay. I was at home. It was the day before I had to go to Malta. And... I took the shaver, or not the shaver, what I call it, the machine, the trimmer for the yeah. beard. And I was thinking, oh, fuck, okay, here we go again. So yeah, I got most of the things out apart from the eyebrows. Those are still kept, <laughs> but the beard was gone and it died half on me. So it felt like a burst nest was up there somehow. It looked crazy. <laughs> so I did feel a bit anxious when the security at the airport told me, Remove the hat as well. I'm like, dude, you can ask me of so many things, but please do just not the hat. And he's like, I'm sorry, but you have to. We're talking in Swedish, so I was like, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so you literally shaved your head, but not fully because no. the machine broke. <laughs> I trimmed the head with the machine. Yeah. And then I got to Malta and I was taking it back. And usually when I do these things, it's to remind myself of living differently. So. <laughs> Thing. It was a big reset button, and I felt I didn't want attention, but it gave kind of the opposite effect. Because obviously, yeah, people keep looking at me like, "Holy shit, this guy is crazy!" But it's kind of hot as well, so it's weird. I don't know. For me, Some like when guy. I see a man that is bald, it just makes me think, "Oh, this guy has his shit together. He looks mature." He seems mature, at least. Well, I'm not going to lie, Jason mm-hmm. Statham is a handsome man, that's for sure. But I feel when people go bold, especially guys, it's because their hair is thinning mm-hmm. or they're starting to get those holes or these things are a bit higher, what I call it. Yeah, the line, the hairline, the hair it line, starts... It's receding. Uh, yeah, it's not on the forehead, it's like in the middle of the head, yes. basically. What the hell happened while I was away, by the way? Well, while you were in Malta having a threesome, I was uh, here having a New Year's bang. Wait, at midnight? What do you mean New Year's No, bang? no, like it was, I think, at five in the morning, four or five, five. Okay. I still do. <laughs> That's another way of fun. I started, I yeah, I started the new, like the new year, like very productively. Already a bang. Like, can you imagine? Only 364 to go. Yeah. You are active, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. So how was in Malta? Any well, luck with that threesome? Because no? I was too stressed out about the driving there. And also, it feels like history repeating itself because I started to feel bad while I was on the airplane. No. And I got to Malta and I realized, oh, fuck me, I got food poisoning again. Oh my God. So New Year's was spent mostly in bed with a half shaven head. Trying to catch sleep, but I couldn't because I failed. I had a bit of a fever. I did not have corona at that point, just to clarify. I had it the week before. So <laughs> I know I didn't have it now. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I feel. Uh, but, you know, I was just excited for Malta. It's a small island and it's a great culture mix because it's between Europe and Africa and all that stuff. And I ran into the car when I was sure I was inside the country, I was thinking, okay, I'm on the airplane, I'm going to get into the country, everything's fine now. Because I was pretty insecure with the corona stuff, could I get in or not? So, I got the car, I got the keys, I went out there, and I was thinking, this is weird, why isn't, why isn't the wheel on this side? Oh, do they have the wheel on the other side? 
Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> the thing is, they drive on the opposite side of what mm-hmm. Denmark is used to. Anyways, that's not the best part of it. The best no. part is, I was just thinking, oh, uh, I need to try and get the doors open. So I got next to the car. I just put in the keys and I didn't think about it and I just turned it. And for some reason, it, <laughs> the freaking, what it called, the handbrake was not pulled up yeah. and it was the first gear. So what freaking car do you think started to drive forward? And I was just panicking there thinking, what the fuck is going on? And I was trying to stop it. And I said, but it's too late. So the first two minutes I had a car in Malsa, it hit the bump there. Uh, so that's... So you basically had a car accident. I had two. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so anyways, I was driving out of the, mm-hmm. of the parking lot. And then I was thinking, why does it feel I'm going the wrong way? And after five minutes of driving, I realized... Oh no! <laughs> so it was more anxious driving the entire time. The whole country is on the other side, so I got to, got to get used to that. Mm-hmm. And I was also thinking for myself when I got, oh god, I'll probably get into an accident before I leave this country. Mm-hmm. But I was driving out, and I, there was a stop sign, and I didn't notice because you could go two multiple ways. I know I looked, but then again, no, it was on the first of the year, <laughs> so that's the way to stop. So I was just driving out, I drove out a bit too much, and I got hit by a bus. Really? I did. That's how you lost your eyebrows? <laughs> that would be a good way to explain it. No, like luckily the impact was not that big, but it was a bit too late. So I ended up having to pay 900 euros for insurance, which oh. I would get back, and that ruined the vacation a bit. Mm. So, but all in all, I had a good time. I want to know... What happened to the eyebrows? So I was dating this crazy girl in Malta. And then, <laughs> is that what you want to hear about or what? That didn't happen. I just want to know what the fuck, why the fuck you did it. Because isn't it hard now when you go at the gym, you know, when you go to the gym and you're sweating and the sweat goes into your eyes? How hard do you think I go at it? <laughs> <laughs> that's how, that's why eyebrows are there for that. Yes, but. My lashes also have on that accord, so I'm fine. Okay. Like also, when I bathe, it doesn't go in the eyes. And if you look at it, you still have the outer line, so it goes out. It's not like they're completely gone. Can I touch? <laughs> yes, you can touch my eyebrows. <laughs> sort of soft. Yeah, but the hairs girl. are also hard. <laughs> Your hands are so warm, I like it. <laughs> okay. Thank you for letting me touch. But yeah, actually, we were at the party and Mirza was um, almost balls deep oh, <laughs> into <come> this girl. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. That's, he a, was... that's a bit of exaggeration. And I'm the one saying that, so that, you know, it's freaking true. And the, like, everything was going smoothly. They were having fun, you know, chilling on the couch, like, you know, doing, uh, uh, hooking up stuff. And um, I want to hear what is hooking up stuff. Like I don't know, kissing and talking and yeah, I don't know if you were kissing. I was drunk at that point. But the thing is, Mirza asked me to bring him a bottle of wine, and so I did. And I brought the bottle of wine, and guess what? I broke the bottle on the way. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, not really the best wing woman ever, but uh, I tried my best. Okay. Well, I didn't want to get the floor wet, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah. Something got wet. So I'm but, not the only clumsy one. That's always something. Well, to be fair, you were a bit tipsy. I was just clumsy. I was drunk. Like, I oh, was yeah? good drunk. Yes. Yeah, I know we talked about Tinder before you went in Malta. So I feel I need to possess of my description or something. You got any ideas? Let's take a look at your Tinder. Thing. Okay, okay, so you have like a... Picture with your face, it looks pretty. You don't have eyebrows in this picture. It's pretty uh, accurate. So perfect. <laughs> it's artistic, okay? Yes. Oh, and here you have a photo with you feeding uh, like a tiger. It's a big dolly white little, uh, tiger, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cute. And then that's a photo with you looking like Tom Cruise on a beach. 
Thanks for saying I look like Tom Cruise, apparently. I yeah. think that. That was a nice day, though. Minus mm -hmm. degrees. Yeah, it looks nice. And you say where you study and your profile is verified, which is nice. And you say how tall you are, which is also really nice for most of the girls to know that. And you say how many kilos you have. Yeah. That's necessarily important, but... Um, well, you can write, you can say that I'm doing a sex podcast. Here's the link. <laughs> what a part of it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel that's too commercial. It doesn't matter if it's commercial, it, it will work. Like, you can just say, I'm doing a sex podcast. Here's the link. Want to join? And I am into, I'm doing a sex podcast, so I know what I'm doing. Do you want to? Try me, sort of. That's fair, but shouldn't I put it more like interests or what I'm looking for? And this is well, like this is already hobby. says what you're looking for. Yeah, that's true. Everything. I like to shake my ass with a room full of women. You can also say that. Okay. <laughs> you can say quite a bit. I would you say. can say whatever you want. It's about saying to. the right thing. It's about saying things because I feel like I don't know how it is for women, but. Um, when I am on Tinder, I see a lot of men that don't write anything in the description. And I I guess it's because they don't know what to write. But on the other hand, it just looks like they put minimum effort. Like, they really don't say anything interesting. And they are just expecting the girls to, like... I wouldn't say poor, but I also, like, want to keep a bit secretive. I don't want to give all my cards, like, mm. you know... But Not all, but time. the only but the only thing you wrote there was your height and your kilos. That doesn't mean like you're giving everything if you say a little bit more. I, I didn't give away anything. <laughs> That's my thing. nationality. It doesn't like the nationality doesn't necessarily matter that much if you write it in there. But I think it matters if you write something like a like a hobby about you that could also make the girls write to you because i feel like that may be a problem that guys have like girls don't take initiative and they don't write to you first and most of the times it's because girls don't know how to write and what to write but if you give them a little bit of something that they can get attached to like a hobby like a place where you visited or a place where you want to go or something like that then they're going to be like oh well i can actually talk with them about this yeah that's it you get more opportunity for topics yeah. They don't know, know they're invested in it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. What What are you into? What are you searching for on Tinder exactly? Firstly, I'm into everything more or less. So, I think everything the question should anything. be... Everything that crawls. Just give me a hug, okay? <laughs> uh, the question should be, what am I not into? Okay, what are you not into? Well, I, I don't have that many criteria for... The women I would want to have fun with. You One just want is, them not to be tall, right? Because they're like short girls. No, no. I mean, even if we're on the same line, it's fine. But that's one of my two criteria. She just has to be lower than me. And I should be able to lift her. But that's partially on me, depending on how much I do at the gym as well. So, But it also depends if she's weighing more than you. Because in that sense, it might be harder for you to lift her. That would be a challenge, that's for sure. Yeah. Then, uh, let me see, can I swipe? Uh, yeah, you Tinder? touched my eyebrows, that are not there, I don't <laughs> think Tinder. The following sequence will be fast forwarded, so you don't fall asleep meanwhile. So this girl, I'm just gonna mention her name because it doesn't really matter. Uh, her name is Amanda. She likes working out, soccer, she's a dog lover, running, and she loves shopping. Yeah, but that's like, does that think you about more? Because you see, that's also one of the points we were talking about, like, this should be enough. It's not enough. You don't think so? It's just no. five passions. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's so easy. Like, it's so much more human-like to have something that is written by you, like, just a small thing, you know? Yeah, it shows effort. Like, one sentence is even fine just to have something there. Um, okay, she has her profile verified, which is nice. Uh, she's a student, um, and she's three kilometers away. Uh, she's closer than that, I think. Closer than... Uh, she's probably closer than where you live, but yep. more far away from where I live. Okay, and I'm looking at her photos. So one you of them... Got a picture of a bartender. Yeah, but, like, the first one, she's at the beach... And, That's um, a swimming pool. Uh, whatever, like a swimming pool. She has a swimsuit on it. Her boobs are visible. It's nice. And her face looks good. Then uh, she's having a picture at the gym, I assume. And 
you can she's in a bra like a sports bra so you can see her abs and yeah you can see her face though um yeah like this other one she's just having a selfie then she's yeah she's working as a bartender apparently or she did in the past um no, she likes to ski and she likes to ski yeah snowboard exactly next yeah i mean like okay. and then next so, like okay then we have another chick her name is anya and she says something in Danish here about herself what did she say uh i just got the third stick like the vaccine, the vaccine yeah. so just come down so just come now. <laughs> come on now. Yeah, you only hear what you want to hear. Okay, okay. Um, she's 22. Uh, what is her job? Lifeguard. Lifeguard. Ooh, That's hard. Nice. Did I think that I'm having a heart attack? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, just For say. sure. And, um, yeah, okay, she's at the gym. Um, a picture at the gym. Then a cute picture photo. Picture in her yeah. Danish national jersey. Yeah. Then a little picture. Yeah, she looks cute. Then a little selfie. Okay, I like her. I don't know yeah, about man. it. Like the lifeguard thing was pretty interesting. Well, yeah. That, yeah. Okay, but then we also have to talk about those. Come it's on. like, no, no. I'm not going to talk about every single, like, you know how Tinder works. Okay, this is another one. Another Amanda. And she likes running, surfing, golf, reading, and yoga. Ooh, yoga. Oh, she's pretty active. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yoga, she says. Yeah. Oh, but she's 45 kilometers away. Do you mind about the... No, that's no. fine. Okay. Um, that's all. She has that's a all selfie, she has another selfie, and she has another selfie. Yes, and the other one was a no. I don't get it. I just know, okay? <laughs> you just, you literally showed boobs with your hand and you're like, I just know, okay? <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is another chick. Her name is Freya. Freya or Freya? How do you say it? Oh, I think it's Freya. <laughs> okay. She's a veterinarian, right? Um, yeah. And she's nine kilometers away. She said something about wine. No, I think she's... Okay. No. Oh, there's also an Insta tag. What's mm. your take on that, by the way? The, like the, the Instagram, I think it's nice because then you can see pictures. Oh, I don't like this Instagram tag that they put like that. I like when they um, uh, link their Instagram with, uh, yeah, yeah, with, with the their profile. account because then you can see some more photos from their profile on, on there. Which yeah, is always nice. and it also doesn't show like follow me sort of. Yeah, attitude. exactly. Okay, she's plant based. Oh god, that's bad because you're a meat lover. And hey. she's also hey. a dog lover, environmentalism, outdoors, and coffee. And she's one hundred and seventy seven. She's already too tall for you, right? Too tall. What the hell are you talking about? I mean, you like short girls, that's probably like yeah, yeah, 170. I, yeah, but the, one of the tallest one I dated, or well, just had some fun with, was 183, and that was so fun. Mm -hmm. Like, for kissing, that was actually perfect. Okay, that sounds good. She looks cute, and she has a tattoo on her arm, uh, and oh, she has more, she has a lot on her hands. Eyes, but, but the legs, like, and she has a dog, wasn't like... Yeah, yeah, but her eyes are, like, made with a filter, those are not her real eyes, and she made them bigger. But yeah, and the legs, yeah, the legs are really good, she has tattoos, yeah, and she, but maybe it's not her dog, you know, but it's a cute one. Do you think and that's my tiger? <laughs> she probably, yeah, no, of course not, but yeah, <laughs> she has a horse, I think. Um, yeah, she also put a video, which is nice. Um, okay, she seems nice, what do you think should be? Uh, I'm gonna like. She's 29, ooh, she's older than you. By how much, half a year, probably? Yeah. Okay, another girl with a horse. Um, her ooh. name is Mina. Okay, so she likes working out, she's a dog lover and uh, outdoor stuff. Um, I don't know, I don't really like her that much. Feels a bit fake though. Yeah, you are. Oh, okay, so she you put a picture. Smile to my face you are, and yeah. beat to my heart. Oh, God. Okay, I would, say this, I would say this is fake because of the picture. You give her a like? No, I swipe left. Oh, okay. Okay, but let's discuss that. Like putting quotes. Oh, quotes? Yeah, putting quotes. I don't think it's nice. Like, even though, like, I, I know you might say that. Maybe it represents their personality. I don't give a fuck. But I would like, rather put a quote out there myself. Like, I would rather put a quote in the description of the thing than put a photo with a quote. Because then, like, the photo thing is made for your photos, for your face, not for stupid stuff. Yeah, that's true. But that seems very fake. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, that profile, yeah. Okay, so this is uh, Cecilia. Okay, she looks cute. Yeah, and but you have to feel it when they look too young. She's 23. Yeah, but she looks like, you know, 19. That's a bit. Is it a turn on? For many guys, it would be a turn on if she looks younger. I'm not a fucking pedophile. <laughs> well, 19 doesn't mean you're a pedophile. <laughs> Come on, I didn't say she looked like a 12 year old for crying out loud. Mm. It's just a bit too young. Mm. Okay, but the annoying thing is that she didn't write anything. The only thing that she, she has put... an Insta. Yeah, and which is like. It. This yeah. is a cat's profile. Literally, the name was Nana, and there were two pictures with a cat. So she's looking for somebody for the cat. I don't have a cat she can play with. <laughs> but she has a pussy I can play with, and she didn't show any pictures. <laughs> she's she has a bigger bag of me, and that's. Yeah. <laughs> I would never find myself saying this, but can I see my competition? I mean, I recently started using Tinder again because I haven't been using it in a while. So it's this guy that I matched with on Tinder and we were talking about things and I saw that he likes to dance and I asked him what he's dancing and he said like salsa and bachata and I also really like that. And I asked him like... How uh, have you not met? No, I don't know, but he looks really good. And then he asked, he just asked me like if I'm also participating in the classes that uh, uh, at a place on a certain day. And I was like, yeah, I actually participate there all the time, but not mm -hmm. now because they are closed due to Corona. But it's actually funny, you know, like... 
This is how he looks. So. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, I just wanted to say something about this because I think it was really nice, like, what he wrote. He wrote stuff about himself. He said, like, I'm doing a PhD in artificial intelligence and predictive uh, maintenance of universal robots, blah, blah, saving the world, one robot at a time. And then uh, he says that he enjoys dancing, reading, and traveling, and he's equally enthusiastic about a night in as a night out. And um, if we ever end up in the same car, uh, I should be prepared that uh, he tends to sink along on everything. And he's 194. He's uh, half Danish, half um, uh, American. Okay, so we have a guy here. He looks like he's from Harry Potter. His name is Sebastian. He's 25. And <laughs> he looks like he's from Harry Potter. <laughs> he does. Look at those glasses, for fuck's sake. Given here. What does he say about himself? Okay, two things. I always sort the berries from the jam, and I'm a huge nerd. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I'm rocking the long fritz. It's like a, a slang for haircut. Yeah. Lately. And and his Instagram it. name is Big Cake. <laughs> okay. If he likes asses, I guess that's maybe. Okay, no. oh so, God. what can I learn from this? Harry Potter. <laughs> Nothing from this. Just never look like Harry Potter. Okay, this guy, Ryan, he also like looks not attractive. Ah, uh, but I don't, I don't think you would match because, I don't know. He doesn't like tattoos. Yeah. Uh, Something about no feminism, me, macho, Don't talk about everything. macho or feminism, yeah. and don't talk about LGBT and non-smoker. Yeah. Everything that I like. <laughs> yeah, but why do you so far away? I don't you, know why. You I said do. you want to go to Paris. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no way. Pierce nipples taste like house keys, and there's no place like home. Now, that's a fucking good quote. <laughs> oh. Yes, but why put a quote as even the first thing that you post? Man, guys are crazy here. Looking for a girl in my life who wants to use my face as a chair. <laughs> and then I need somebody who wants to go to the theater. I'm currently uh, uh, starting to become a theater technician in order to theater. I'm a Scorpio. Uh, I've heard somebody's interested in that kind of knowledge. And his Instagram translates to the angry onion. And he doesn't have a single picture apart from this Twitter quote I just read out loud. So that's a super like, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, Morton. <laughs> what does he say? My name is Morton, and I'm looking for love. Please. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I like it. I like nice. it. Mm -hmm. But I don't like him. I it like his nice, jaw, but like, it feels like a cycle. <laughs> um, yeah, there's something I don't like about him. So is this his kid? I guess so. Well, I like the second picture, but he looks... But he's like 529 kilometers away. Yeah, he also looks sort of arrogant. He looks young, but he's older than you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is what it is. I've also talked with some friends these days, and we were all like, what the fuck is going on with Tinder? There's literally nothing, only weird guys. Hey, hey, guys hey, without hey. eyebrows. Thank you, that's what I was aiming for. <laughs> I'm a league of my own. That's nothing good. No, <laughs> you say everybody's no, weird. No, no. Come oh. on, you, you gotta give one light. This is good. One. Green energy and what? Green energy and one windmill at a time. Engineer, engineer at Siemens Gamesa. He's 31, but... He likes to listen to The weekend. Yeah, okay. And he likes being choked. He said that? <laughs> he wrote that? <laughs> no, he just, it's just because he used the song Take My Breath. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, maybe he does like to be choked. Probably. You want to borrow my leather gloves? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nils. He's a CEO. Ah, uh, I think I bought something from that dude some time ago because they were selling their laptops and shit. Hmm. Mm -hmm. At this point, I want to find inspiration on what I should buy on my bio. Yeah. But the more, more look, the more and more I look at this, I just realize, man, guys are idiots. <laughs> yes. Like, yes. I think we had enough of judging people on Tinder, and I need to like figure out what the hell I should write in mind at this point. Well, I told you, you already have it right there. See, I'm doing a sex podcast, putting yes. a link in ask which they want to join. Yes. Sure. It's that's gonna a way work to go. like a charm. You know, most people would be frightened of talking about sex. So yes, but they don't have both. to but they don't have to talk about sex. They have you. And you're gonna talk about sex for them. Oh yeah, that's true. And also it's a really good way of showing who I am. It shows up the humor, it shows up the voice, it shows up the, exactly. the it just way looks, I speak with the camera. You know, that's the thing. It just looks interesting. It's just something that not everybody does. Because there's a lot of people also on Tinder, like a lot of guys saying like, yeah, I'm an engineer. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know, I work in the, at the gym or, or something like that, you know, or I'm studying or whatever. That's boring. Like saying, I'm doing a sex podcast is like, what? He's different. Yeah, exactly. Which is really cool. So I think something that we can take out of Tinder and all that, just try and be unique in general. So guys, if you want to 
if you are on Tinder and you're not having any success or something like that, it's probably because um, you don't look good. And I'm oh, sorry, yeah. like, I'm sorry to say it, but it's the app is so uh, narcissistic. <laughs> oh, God, so, yes. Yeah, like, that's, that's the situation. Maybe if you don't... Yeah, that's what you say every time, but I feel you still don't change that part of you. <laughs> no. Good for you, Nico. Right? And I got a notification on Tinder. And I got 50 questions about my eyebrows. <laughs> well, yes, I got, I got a match. With mm-hmm. Jacob. There you go. Oh, the Siemens guy. Semen guy. <laughs> the semen guy. <laughs> I think the most important thing is deciding on what to show on Tinder, depending on what you're looking for. Like, are you looking for a hookup? Then most probably you can post like all those sexy pictures that you have and write something like, just looking for a bang. <laughs> just bang. A bang. Just looking for somebody to tingle my tinglish places i don't know just something something about sex and um uh, but if you're not not here for a long time here for a good time that's a good one well you can write that in as well (sighs) i like to be original and creative don't give me all that quote bullshit i quote enough on the daily (laughs) and i'm fucked up that was a quote yeah (laughs) okay but if you are looking for a relationship, because some people might also do that, especially now in the Corona period, um, because in some places of the country, like there's still lockdowns and people don't really socialize that much. So I get it that um, Tinder is a place to, you know, to go for those stuff. And then probably try to be a bit more decent in your pictures, not, not show that much boobs. Um, Maybe try and hide that just say skin. somehow. <laughs> yeah, skin in general. So just be a bit more decent and maybe make things clear from the beginning that you are um, maybe in search for something serious, but you would like to enjoy the moment as it is for now anyways. Because I feel some people sometimes are way too serious, right? When they write in the, on Tinder, like, I'm only looking for something serious. But that kind of, that would frighten me away a bit. Like, okay, right. calm down, man. Yeah, it's sort of like, okay, like, you're looking for something serious, but what if we go on a date and we realize, like, maybe we even have sex and we realize that, okay, we're not a match. Then what the fuck? Like, what the fuck happens? Like, are you going to be, like, heartbroken? It's fair. You know, so maybe, like, there should be something a bit more soft. Like, you know, you can just tell people, that you are in search of something more serious or something more permanent, but you would like to enjoy the ride. Um, and then people are like, okay, like let's give it a try and let's see where it goes. Because that sort of keeps away the people that are only looking for hookups, but also makes space for people that are unsure of where they're going or people that are uh, yeah, not so sure that they can actually have a relationship with you. What do you feel... The Tinder and all that comes things, and all that comes with it, that you shouldn't set your anticipations too high. No, of course It not. is just what it is. It's a dating app. It's pretty shallow, mm-hmm. and it's really difficult to find quality people in there. Why are you on Tinder? What are you looking for? Are you looking for a hookup? Are you looking for something serious, mm-hmm. or are you just looking in general? Are you just well, testing say, the market? Yeah, I think actually that would explain it the most. Because it's also good for me to practice my texting with the opposite sex, see how it goes, like what do they like, what don't they like, see if I can get in there, mm-hmm. more or less. Yeah. It's also just to break the shy bubble and see it's not that bad. Yeah, I think it's the same for me. I'm not really looking for a hookup. I don't need it, but it's nice once in a while, you know. Always. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like but, sexual, what do you call it, frustration, that's a thing, you know? I always feel I call you on the weirdest times. You call me in the weirdest times. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're talking about today. No, I'm talking oh about my today. god. Okay, guys. So I just have to tell you, this morning my ass was burning, and that was because I ate too many chilies. <laughs> but not the fun way, <laughs> No. And this morning or noon, sort of today, my ass 
was burning once again. And that was because I got uh, laser hair removal and Mirza was literally calling me right in the moment while I was spreading my ass cheeks out for the laser to go in between my buns. I know how to make an entrance. Very painful. <laughs> very, very painful. And Mirza was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I wanted to know when should we meet up. I was like, Mirza, at three, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, yeah. More or less. Yeah. Uh, and I was thinking, that bitch, how dare she shot at me? Oh my God. Last I, night. I wish that was she said. Yeah. <laughs> Last night. It was so good. Like, my masturbation ritual was just amazing. Your ritual? <laughs> what yes. the hell? Like, how yes. deep do you go in there? <laughs> <laughs> it was more because I um, I was watching a series and then I got bored and I light up some candles <laughs> and I was just like by myself. But in the same time, somebody was watching me or I felt like somebody was watching me because the hamster was going on the fucking wheel and it was making noise. But it worked. It made me horny. I don't know how. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, so thanks, Kaunas, little hamster, for participating in this wonderful experience that I had. And thank you all for being here with us today and talking about Tinder and dates and my masturbation ritual. And um, welcome back, Mirza. It's glad to have you back, even without the eyebrows. Hopefully, they're going to grow by the next episode. So You'll never let this go, will you? No, I will. Well, I will just have to let it grow. Yes, please let it grow. Will do. Yes. And this has been The Nasty Talks. Thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful, kinky week. Mm -hmm.